Hey YouTube, Penguin Boy 1995. Thought I'd just give you a little video explaining about the Samsung impression. And as you can see, it is 1:34 a.m. So, yeah. Um, well, basically, it's an alright phone. It's um, touch screen, and it also does have the side out keyboard. So, uh, we want to text with that, and you can also text with touch screen also so I'm going to go ahead and create a message just close this keyboard press on here you have the regular phone method or you can turn it landscape and type blah blah it's okay it's pretty responsive on touch screen um, it's pretty accurate to where you've touched um, the only thing that is annoying is when you are using the keyboard um, there's such a delay after if you as soon as you get longer text messages say two three beyond four pages there's a real delay within when you press it to when it shows up on the screen which really slows down the processing time of say if you're typing really fast it, it'll slow down and um, sometimes just leave out letters together um, I don't like how the menus are set up but this is typical to Samsung phones um, how their menus are set up um, just stupid like this. Um, the tools it comes with are a camera. The camera is three megapixels. Um, it's an okay camera with no flash. Um, you can record audio, alarms, calendar, which I don't use that much, but you know you can add things to your calendar and do this and do that with your calendar. So you can view your recent calls and stuff, tasks, things to do around whatever, memos, calculator, pretty nice little calculator, um, a converter, which is pretty nice, so if you want to add, say, if you had volume, well, we're not going to do volume, because we're just, let's do uh, length, and say you had something that was five point Nah. Go back. Eight inches. All right, and then you press OK, and it converts it out for you. And that's inch. Hold on. If the camera will focus, come on. Well, it converts it out into all these conversions. It's a pretty nice little typical converter for a phone. You got your world clock, um, your timer, which. You know, it's a pretty nice little timer, and the stopwatch, which you see, what you've seen in the uh, shot back water test video. So you can do lap and blah 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 blah. Um, the web browser is pretty fast. It is 3G enabled phone, which I'm not sure what I'm surfing right now. But battery life could be better. Um, 3G is what I'm on right now. So it does load pretty fast. Um, go ahead and go on to click out of here, which makes your you can view your favorites. And right here we got YouTube, and then just expand that on the screen while that loads. And when you're on YouTube, there you go. And you can say watch this video, random video. It's connected and. Buffering and buffers pretty fast and it's got pretty nice little quality. It doesn't skip a lot once it's buffered. But you saw how fast that was. It was pretty fast on 3G. On Edge it is a little bit slower. Um, MySpace, whatever. The screen does scratch easily, which is another feature that you think that they would improve on is make a tougher screen since it's touch screen. Um, the side, it's a pretty thin phone for what it does, and here is that 3 megapixel camera on the back, and I'm just looking in the camera and looking how nice quality this is, and you can see that I dropped this down somebody's driveway, well, you know, I dropped this down, down somebody's driveway and it got all messed up, and uh, their cases are very hard to get open, which is a good thing, because if you drop your phone, like me, all the time, your case doesn't fall off and your battery doesn't fall off. Um, 
So that's a good thing. And you got your memory card slot here for your memory card. Uh, battery, like I said, battery life would be a little bit better. And it uses the Samsung type chargers. Which is right, well this isn't a charger, this is a USB cable that came with the phone. But here is that connector. And all in all, it could be a better phone. Um, during, when you're writing text messages, some phones have this problem. My mom, who has the same phone, we always seem to get the same phone. Is when you're sending text messages and you've sent like, you know, maybe a couple of text messages. You know, maybe like, you know, once every day you're going to have to restart your phone. Okay, so once or twice or three times a day, if you're sending a lot of text messages, high volume of text messages, you're going to have to restart your phone. Um, I mean, I do have this problem on this one also where if I'm sending a message, it will it won't send, so I have to restart the phone. Um, the phone does start up pretty fast, except it takes forever for messaging to initialize. Um, but once it does, and it's got this nice little feature right here, you can just slide down through your contacts like that. Pretty responsive. Um, my stuff, you can play uh, games, you know. And this one, I just put on here. It's got pretty good quality for phone. There's the speaker right there. And you can... Oh, crap. Hold on. Um, and it's also got the start feature on the front where you can, if you want, say, move a clock. And move that out to here. And put this wherever, just like a desktop. Um, you can't lock these, so they do move around. So, and the screen, it, whatever touches it will move it. It's not, it doesn't recognize just your finger. It can't tell the difference between a finger or uh, something else. But um, it's cool how you have these little things. And every time I seem to restart mine, the, uh, where is it? Right here, it pops up and says no event and is centered in the screen. It gets annoying after a while, but... These phones do have a little bit of problems, you know, since they are kind of new. And then just drag your music player out to your screen. Open that up. Like that. And move that out to your screen, and you can go to your library. I recommend you doing it this way, because if you do put music on here from iTunes, it, iTunes seems to put a number. Put iTunes seems to put a number after the end of it so it's not it'll be organized way differently than you want to expect so it's okay it's just better to go in the menu like this and it organizes it and gets rid of that number but um what else it, um i said it has bluetooth um oh one thing i also want to do it doesn't have many options for customizing your phone and make it yours um, to set your phone away from other people's phones. Um, just not... Why can't it focus on the battery? You know, kidding me? Let me turn off this light real quick. Oh, crap. And you can, still can't see it. Sweet. But, let me turn this light back on. Um, not too many things to, um, personalize your phone. Um, here is what the main menu looks like. Um, it does have this one thing called tumbling dice, and you shake the phone, and if you turn up the volume, seriously, you don't want to work? Aw, oh well, but it, it's just dice, it's kind of weird, and you just shake the phone, and, <laughs> I don't know, and then it's got these free dumb games that give you about, like, two seconds of play before it runs out, and this video is running out of time, so... I'm going to go ahead and continue it in a part two of the Samsung impression. Thanks for watching part one and make sure to watch part two.